Hi, Mark Gordon with the Gold, Silver, and Spider Report on Tuesday, April the 10th. And uh, this is the GLD, the uh, ETF for gold, obviously. We are back up here at the upper end of our trading range that's been established. And uh, we are sitting right here on this red line, which is the 21-day moving average up above this gray line here, the 10-day moving average. <coughs> gold having um, a reversal day here uh, opened up uh, a slightly higher, then reversed, took out yesterday's low, and then rebounded up and uh, uh, came up to this upper trend line here and it's so far being held back right there so uh, gold uh, uh, making a nice move here uh, on a pickup in volume you notice that the volume is, is uh, uh, heavier than uh, the previous day here and coming up here to the uh, average volume area it's been light volume here the last couple of days as we've made this run up so this is a good sign a pickup in volume is good um, let's see if we can get past this overhead resistance here. This uh, uh, blue dotted line is the upper trend line. And uh, if we do that, then we come into some overhead resistance here at these moving averages. The first one will be the uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, currently at 163.46, 16346. And then directly above that is the 200-day line at 164.20. And then right above that, of course, is the famous 50-day uh, moving average, the blue solid line coming in at 165.26, 165.26. So lots of overhead resistance just up ahead here. Let's see what uh, gold can do. We're up about 1.1% today, as I say, on a pickup in volume. And coming down here to the uh, MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, we can see that we're about ready to cross again to the upside. We've been waffling around uh, the slower line, the blue line, and now it looks like we are going to uh, cross back over, which should bring some more short-term traders back into this market. And uh, you also notice this uh, orange line, the relative strength line, is really taking off here. So um, it looks like we uh, might be able to make a move here to the upside. Uh, down here, looking at stochastics, um, the momentum is now up. We have the black line has crossed the red line, the faster moving average crossing the slower to the upside. Uh, not overbought in any respect and taking up uh, uh, taking off up off the uh, uh, 20 line here so so cast is looking strong also uh, moving on now to a weekly chart uh, up about 1.8 percent on the week for the GLD and you can see that we are still in this downtrend here got a, a bit of a down sloping uh, flag formation going on here been in a downtrend uh, um, uh, here for the last uh, oh about eight weeks here um, had a nice rally up and now we're fading back here down below all the key moving averages here so on a weekly chart gold uh, the GLD is still looking weak and moving on now to silver this is the SLV uh, the silver ETF up about 0.6 percent and kind of stuck in a little uh, uh, trading range here the last uh, four sessions um, forming a bit of a bottom here possibly a new base forming here uh, still under the key moving averages uh, uh, green dotted line obviously the 100 day moving average the 50 day moving average way up here and uh, this is the uh, 21 the red line uh, which is uh, moving down rapidly but uh, kind of making a little bottom of a base here uh, we do have a pickup in volume here so a little bit of accumulation and scrolling on down to our indicators here the MACD is a bit negative um, but kind of flat you know uh, just moving sideways uh, relative strength um, versus the S&P 500 is now breaking through resistance here uh, uh, took out these tops here so that's a good thing there uh, it looks like uh, stochastics uh, are going to cross uh, to the upside bouncing here up off of this 20 marker so uh, silver looking to be gaining a little bit of momentum here and last but not least is the uh, SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. This is the real uh, story of the day and of a long time, actually, when you really look at this chart. Uh, it has uh, taken out this 50-day moving average on volume. Um, volume is above average, and it's, it's the most down volume we've seen in quite a while. And uh, above average volume, uh, clear distribution here. Uh, big boys getting out of stock right now. Um, uh, slicing through here is a very, very key thing uh, psychologically. Um, so this is uh, uh, the fifth session in the row that we've been down. Uh, we haven't seen that in uh, quite a while. Um, and uh, really breaking the back of this rally that started back here in December and uh, took us all the way through. So this is the first breach of the 50-day moving average since mid-December here uh, on a pickup in volume and um, <clears throat> slicing right through the lower Bollinger Band. 
uh, which uh, uh, could have offered some resistance, but it didn't. Uh, so um, uh, the next stop here is this previous low at 133.77. Uh, right now um, we are at uh, 136, 136. So this will be our next point of resistance here, and below that will be the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line. So stocks really taking a beating here, down 1.61% on the uh, SPY. And looking back uh, uh, on a weekly chart here, uh, we're down 2.7% on the week. You can see this this hammer down here right through the 10-week moving average, something we have not done uh, since December here. And uh, actually, uh, the last uh, close uh, below this moving average was back here around the first week in December. So um, <clears throat> nasty looking chart here all of a sudden out of the blue. So we've been calling uh, this market in a correction for about a week now, and now you can really see it manifest uh, uh, in uh, in the stocks here. And uh, a good thing is is that um, you know as stocks are crashing, uh, gold is moving up. So maybe there's going to be a rotation back into gold uh, as a place where the money flows. We'll have to see though. And I'm sure a lot of traders are keeping a close eye on Apple. Um, uh, hit it actually hit a new high today and reversed off of that new high. Uh, down about 1.3 percent on a pickup in volume so distribution coming into apple uh, let's see if we can hold this uh, gray line the 10-day moving average and uh, below that will be the 21-day moving average here and uh, the previous low here at 597.94 so apple um, uh, showing some distribution here we had a little bit of distribution here oh, about a week a uh, week and a half ago uh, but that quickly resolved itself uh, tested the 10-week and then bounced right back up to new high so a uh, new high today, reversal off of that. Let's see what happens with Apple. So thanks for listening, everybody. And uh, we'll keep an eye uh, on on stocks here. Uh, I will uh, come in uh, with a new report uh, if, uh, if things change. So uh, thanks for listening.